Welcome to BCH Technologies. My name is Kevin. Uh, today we're going to show you how we make a refillable cartridge uh, with a custom order. So we'll show you how we make it. So probably you can make it yourself so you don't have the order from us and uh, so save you some money. Uh, because all the techniques are already covered in the previous videos, uh, which I'm going to give you some links below. So uh, today I'm not going to talk too much. I'll just quickly go through and uh, just show you how we do it. So basically it's like a blog rather than a tutorial. Okay, let's, let's get started. Uh, we, we have some uh, used cartridge we bought from eBay. Uh, in different shapes, those are color ones, and uh, those uh, those are black ones, and those color ones. Okay. And uh, so, what we're going to do is, is we're going to make those uh, refillable, and we're going to test test them on the MG two five two two, the printer. Uh, we which we have a lot of them, and then we have another room full of them. Uh, the tools we have is uh, we have a set of refillable car cover AS RFC CB2 and uh, which we get from uh, BCH website and so for us we get uh, some um, uh, sandpapers, a box cutter, actually a utility knife, uh, a super glue which we got we got from a 99 cent market like some 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 kind of container to hold the liquid, and uh, we have uh, uh, cleaning solutions. Uh, you can use water, and then we have uh, uh, we have inks. Uh, those are container from Canon when when we have the original cartridge. Uh, I like those holders because the uh, the front chamber is is perfect for unclogging. So I just add a little bit of liquid. That may be too much. Let's pour it to the others. Okay. It's kind of not random, but it's actually it is random. Okay. And then I'm gonna pick a color. I like when I buy from eBay, they pack nicely with this original container, so we have another one for to use it later. Okay. So we sit. And now let's take a look of uh, the refill set. Uh, this one we got from uh, bchtechnologies.com and uh, we go to accessories and uh, refill uh, refill tools and the one we use is the uh, this set uh, that's a sponge less and also we have one that has sponged uh, you may also want to try that that's pretty good too and uh, the bottom two is the one that the lost people ask us uh, to do it for them. And actually, uh, this is what we're doing right now. So we're making a set for the customers. The way it works is you go to, uh, let's say you want to do a, a 245, 246. And uh, you, you can select you want to use our cartridge, you want to use our black cartridge or use our color cartridge, or you can just send, send us yours. Remember when you send it, do not require signature. If you require, require signature, we will not be able to sign it. Okay, so the package will be returned. So for example, if you say you're going to send us the cartridge and uh, of course uh, let's say you want to make a color one okay so you only need a one color uh, cover 
then the labor you only pay for the installation of the color cartridge where what is with them now then you can decide what kind of ink you want or you want you don't want ink at all then you can just add the card and the check out yeah, okay it has a color one and the black one So we'll put them here and then we're going to use the... Okay, let's cut off the black one first. I like to do it on the edge of the table. Sorry, just to show you my crotch there. Okay, sorry. One thing I see is the XL cover is thin, so you get this big sponge. So you can see the color one, the color didn't come out too much, maybe yellow come out, which we probably, probably going to do some unclogging. And the black one didn't come out at all, so uh, we may have some dried ink to unclog there. The HP really doesn't give you much ink there, right? the dirt. Got a piece of new placemat here. For the covers, you really want to try, uh, try it on a couple times before you're actually doing it. 
uh, for the color ones, I suggest you try at least 10 times so you can put it on with your eyes closed and make sure it snaps, it snaps in you're going to hear a click and a snap into it You want to try it a couple times before you actually do it because you got one shot on this procedure to make it right. So take it and make sure there's no debris inside here. One shot. Okay. And then it just Make sure it become natural to you, just put it on. Not like this. There. I call my glove. Let's do the black one first. And this side is perfect. And this side has a little bit of bubble. So I just add a little bit more. That should do it. Of course, do not do not touch the print head. Okay. Not the color one. I won't mess with tape. I'll just hold it for a couple of minutes, maybe two minutes, and just let it dry. We'll do another final check for the air bubbles, then we'll just leave it here for it to dry for at least half an hour, uh, maybe more. Sometimes we do like two, three hours. It's about like half an hour. Um, ideally, you should do more, um, but I'm kind of busy, so I have to see if this works.
lot. So Okay. Now let's try it. Uh, by the way, this is the sponge version of the refillable cartridge, and this is a uh, previous version, uh, which is uh, like a version one of of uh, spongeless, and uh, the clear one is the version two. We found the version one works really well, except uh, the magenta here is tends to clog and if you have this problem you can email me i can tell you the solution okay let's try this okay here's canon's manual if i go to my computer um, my printer go to troubleshooting and go to cleaning and somehow if you execute this, I, 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 I didn't do whole, the whole cycle. I found if I do this, uh, printer and drivers, uh, device and printers. And if I go to printer property, Okay, now we print another check. Okay, so there's no black. Let it be the magenta and uh, no yellow. Okay. I think it's probably there are some air bubbles. What I can do is let's fix the black first. We're going to have a let be a uh, maybe we we'll do a be like one male of air. You can do half male. Basically, we just push air into the cartridge and uh, the ink will come out. So, with the refill hole fit closed, let's see if it come out or not. No. So, we do the uh, two males. Oh, nice. See the, see the ink? Oh, See the ink bubbles? Okay, that's what we try to remove. Okay. Now we do it for the colors. Remember we have a little bit of magenta, so I'll do one meal first. Oh yeah. One meal for yellow. Mm. Wow. See the bubbles. Okay. So you can see uh, they had a uh, red and a uh, yellow. Now Yay. Everything. Cool. Okay, now 
cleaning. That's good. Oh, by the way, you can see the ink is running low. So what we'll do is we're going to print more pages until the ink is depleted. Um, if the ink is just running low, there's no way you can reset it, reset the, uh, the the chip. So when the when the customer receive it, they're going to freak out and say the ink is low. We would rather just give a customer a depleted cartridge, so force them to reset. Uh, I call it reset, basically turn off the this ink level. So, so we're going to print a couple more pages before we ship it out. Whoa! <laughs> we got too much black in there. Okay, now we need to fix the black. Uh, two mil is too much for the black. Still got some ink in it. We'll just add more ink. I'm not worried about that. There are still not any any anyone here, so kind of uh, strange. And when we look at it, it does have ink coming out from everywhere. So I'll just put it in. and do another cleaning. The black look pretty good, and uh, the magenta, the magenta is need some work. It was looking pretty good earlier. So what I will do is taking it out. It has enough ink.
perfect perfect let's uh, Okay, perfect. Now you can see, uh, you can see if this window pops up, uh, which I could tell you, uh, the black is running out. Okay, and uh, do not close this window. Actually, do not touch the computer. Okay, keep this window open and uh, hold down the triangle. I can say that window disappeared. And you can see black doesn't have that thing on top anymore. And that's ish. All we need to do to reset it, sort of reset it, but basically disabled it. Okay, we we'll just keep keep printing, and this is done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you. Happy printing. Cheers.